and welcome to yet another YouTube video tutorial. And today we are painting something that you may be familiar with and that is OSL. But in a different style. Yes. OSL means one source lighting. In miniature painting we usually tend to explain it as expressive light coming from one direction. And it's not necessarily only one source, it can be more sources. But if it comes only from one side it will be more dominant and it will take over some of the details where it shines the most. You can have this light on a miniature explaining uh, something uh, that's happening in the background or even paint the object that casts the light and spreads all over. Some of examples of source lighting can be light from fire or from some magical object or from lantern and so on. As you're gonna paint this on Darkest Dungeon Mini that is uh, from Darkest Dungeon uh, board game we want to keep the aesthetics from the original video game. So expect very strong contrast and some stylish OSL. Let's start. So before we start, I want to explain uh, how did I achieve this stage. And uh, if you want to see it further, in uh, there is a PDF step-by-step -step tutorial on our Patreon, so you might want to check that out as well. The link will be below. So, as you can notice, uh, I went for very strong contrast. As mentioned before, I want to keep the aesthetic of the video game, but also add our own style and a personal signature. So the contrast here is achieved by mostly by the shadows mm, on the figure. Mm, yes, so the, the shadows are very dark, very, uh, you can say it comic book-like, so it's it's like a, a inky way of, of, of sketching and uh, creating the... Yeah, have definition. And... The sculpt is also created in this style, so it's it's very easy to achieve something like this. So to keep everything in this uh, style of painting, I will also be very simple with this OSL, but yet it will be very effective. As you can notice that the there is this the lightning that I choose for this model is very like natural, so it's hitting from uh, above. But the OSL will give a bit of the interest mm, point to the yes. figure itself, and this is like a version from the game. You mm. painted the color scheme like yeah, um, something the similar that the scheme that you can pick up for a character. Yeah, so not the the first one that you get in the game. I think this it depends. Like it really depends how you start the game. Sometimes it's this one. There is a, a I think with one with, with yellow scarf. Yeah, so what will be uh, the color of your OSL here? I'm thinking about some uh, very uh, light turquoise, greenish turquoise, something like that. I think it's fitting for for the for the this character, and it's also something that we don't have on this palette already. Okay, let's see how uh, OSL turquoise OSL work in this style of painting. So, it will be very simple. I will just start with only using white. So you will sketch a mm. surface for, for an OSL. Yes. I'm, I'm using a, a small zero brush. So I decided that a light OSL light will hit from this side. Okay. So I will take just a bit of white and test the consistency. I don't want to be too thin or too thick. Just the right amount of something like this. So, uh, consistency of the paint, of the smooth mm, acrylic paint that you have that mm, already. So, and as I said, the light will hit from this side. And this, this will help me understand and have stronger contrast when I go above this color. So just on top. So you're doing this step very sketchy, very sharp. 
Yes, because uh, in the next step I will cover with DSA col OSL color, but now just just a strong. So guys, to to paint like this, even if it looks similar, you have to be very brave because you have to cover the underneath tones very easily with your paint. But it's fun when you get a grip of it. It's fun. It's mm. catchy, it, it gives the effect fast, so uh, I suggest you to try it. So with this white sketch added, I have very clear picture where the light will hit. And now I will move to the this turquoise color. And what I'm going to use is this uh, green uh, fluorescent co uh, color paint. So it, it is for the strongness of the pigment. Yes. It will be really, really bright tone. Mm, especially on the on the white mm. underpainting. Just a little bit of turquoise. Mm. And now I go to... And get this... Mm, very bright turquoise. turquoise. Yeah. So now I can start adding to the model itself. So you can see it's so you're adding this tone very softly mm -hmm. over the white surface that you sketch now, but also a bit a bit over, more yeah a bit more over yeah. the other surfaces just to blend it yeah because the on the you can notice here for example that on the, the directly on the white the color is very very bright. very bright while the, when it hits the red it's the vibrancy is lost mm. so it's a, it's a good thing to keep in mind yeah, so you want to keep more of the, those tonal values mm -hmm. Now I add just a bit of white in the mixture as well to keep it even brighter tone. Mm -hmm. So you're lightening the turquoise. Mm, a bit, just a bit, not too much. I still want to. If you add too much white, it would turn more pastel, so yeah. you don't want that. Yeah. I want to keep the the color as strong as possible.
and then now just continue covering all the white areas. I will just add some more colors on the other parts as well, just a little bit, just in, to make it all look nice. To increase the glow of the light. Yeah. Yeah. To I spread it. Yeah, I really like how it looks all together. Don't overdo it. <laughs> it can attract yeah. you to overdo when the color is nice. Mm. <laughs> I know. So you know when you want to do an OSL and for example even I would tell you don't just make the line here on this style you can do that mm. not exact line like the straight line but you can do it more sketchy I hope you like that mm. yeah it's it's very easy yet effective and it adds so much to the whole model so you can really imagine him standing somewhere near some forsaken altar and the glow from from the other side so it gives so much depth and character to this paint job i really hope you enjoyed watching this uh, little tutorial and i hope it will give you some cool ideas how to paint your own darkest dungeon minis and for more video and pdf tutorials join us on link below this video uh, become a part of our Patreon community and uh, learn from our lessons and teachings. We would appreciate it very much. So until the next one, bye bye.